Thank you. So, uh, hey everyone, Steve with Hack Notice, and today we're going to cover why your employees hate your cybersecurity training program. So, a little bit of background about cybersecurity training. Uh, anyone here been through a training this year? Yes? Yes, a lot of us. And the reason for that is because training is required by a lot of common regulations. We're talking about HIPAA, PCI DSS, uh, we're talking about FDIC regulations, Sarbanes-Oxley. So uh, training is here to stay, and at a minimum, you need to do an annual training and assessment. Now, uh, even if you're not regulated, most CISOs want to do a training and have it as part of their program. And there's a really good reason why. Uh, employees are often involved in data breaches. Uh, almost every da data breach includes some human interaction, right? So hackers are hacking people, not infrastructure. And, and in our cybersecurity toolbox, when we think of how do we make our people better and stronger, there's really one tool, and that's security training. And, and sometimes combined with fish testing, right? Testing, training. Uh, the problem is that training doesn't work. So we're all doing something that each year we have to do it, we give a training, and it's highly ineffective. The effective rate of training is about 15% across the board. Uh, fish testing, which there's a lot of fish testing companies here, fish testing is forgotten after 90 days. So if what we have to solve the problem is not working, uh, then you would expect the problem to keep getting worse, more breaches each year, which is exactly what we're seeing. The question is why? Why is training not working? And it's because it's a motivation problem. Employees are generally not motivated to pay attention to your training, to, to pay attention to fish testing. It's because there's no real threats to them as a person. It's not personalized. They don't really understand how this impacts their job. And that's where Hack Notice comes in. So we focused on the motivation problem, not the training problem. We help employees understand that how security is not a security team problem. Security is an everyone problem, where hackers target them personally, break into the websites that they're using, and do this to commit fraud, identity theft, and uh, generally uh, wreak havoc on their lives. So why do your employees hate your security training? Well, the first is lectures. No one likes lectures. Lectures just don't work. Security is all about what we do, how we respond in the moment. Security is about how do we interact on a daily basis in our job to be secure. Uh, you can't lecture me to lose 20 pounds. You can't lecture me to be good at baseball. Security is an active part of our life, and that means uh, that, that, that means that we need uh, active training as well. Next up, uh, security training is typically one and done. Now this has changed over the years, but uh, traditionally, if you're gonna be compliant, you do an annual training and assessment, right? So this is a little counterintuitive. If, if employees don't like it, why do they want it to be more than just one and done? And, and it's because uh, we bring everyone into a room, we lecture them on uh, what ransomware is, have them learn a lot of terms, and then they go back to their daily lives. And they, they see how this is just not at all relevant, it's not interesting, it's not integrated. And it's generic. So every single advertisement that I receive online is tailored to me. It's personalized, right? Advertisers know my name, they know my job, they're focused on me. Why are we giving generic security trainers, right? Uh, if you're not focused on the person, the employee, their role, they're never gonna pay attention. So these are the three main reasons why employees hate your security training. So what's the solution? The solution is focusing on the threat. When you make the threat real for every employee, they start understanding why security is important. So what we do at Hack Notice is we focus on threat awareness. We make every employee tell us uh, what websites do they care about. We monitor their work address, but we can also monitor their personal email addresses, their family. And then we alert them to all the security events that they've been a part of. Part of this is changing hearts and minds. We really want employees to understand that the internet can be a dangerous place and they should be careful when they're online. We then encourage employees to take action. Security is not about learning, it's about doing. So we're focused on, hey, 
Cisco just got broken into. If you use Cisco, you should learn about it and then you should take action to protect yourself. So a big portion of this is getting the employee out of the mindset that I don't need to do anything to be secure and instead getting them into the mindset that I'm a part of the solution and I'm gonna help the security team. Finally, we aggregate all this data into a company-wide view where you can see which employees are doing a great job and then which employees are falling behind and need some help. Same thing on a departmental level. Different departments care about security more than others. This is all about culture building, making sure everyone has security as part of their culture. And this is the this is the secret sauce. This is the magic behind it all. If anyone's used a social network, you are in this life cycle. This is the habit forming life cycle. Social networks use it to get us addicted to their networks. We use it to get employees constantly in the mindset that security is real, these events are constantly happening. We trigger them in, in real time about security events. We have them learn about these events. Take action, again, protect yourself. And then we give out awards, badges, make sure that they're invested in being secure and being a part of the solution. So why are we talking about this? Everything we're doing on a per employee level is all about that employee and their third parties. Think of what we're doing at Hack Notice as just a, a mini little scorecard in the pocket of every employee. The same data we have for uh, Hack Notice is available in Security Scorecard. So we're going and we're looking at uh, data leaks, data breaches, uh, PII, and all of that's available in the marketplace. So beyond what's available in the marketplace, you can get direct access to all of this great data, all these security events, company-wide. We can focus on internal employees, external assets as well, your third parties. Full timeline of events in terms of who's being broken into, uh, which ransomware gangs are becoming more prolific and targeting different industries. And then back to the threat awareness platform, really understanding what is your culture today? Who cares about security? Who's actually going through lessons? Who's passing their assessment? And then really finding the key people that care about security in your organization, uplifting them, pointing them out as security heroes, and building a culture around the positive security uh, culture that you have today. This is our technical architecture. You don't really need to pay too much attention here, but we have mobile apps, browser extensions. We're using Face ID, Touch ID. We integrate into the employee's life to the point that we're always with them and we can help out when needed. If an employee visits a recently breached company, we'll notify them in the browser, right? So this is all about constantly letting the employee know that there's these security events that are occurring, the internet's a dangerous place, and they need to protect themselves. Beyond threat awareness, we help with a lot of uh, workflows directly for the security team. So obviously here with Security Scorecard, we partner with them on third-party risk management. We can help with advanced persistent threats, fraud, phishing prevention, even end user. And finally, this is a single platform. So I know that everyone has platforms. There's uh, a lot of platforms, even platform fatigue. You can accomplish all of these workflows in a single integrated platform. And again, we're integrated with Security Scorecard. Uh, you can bring these signals directly into Scorecard as well. If you're interested, you can talk with me after this, as well as uh, Prasad, who's our partner on the Security Scorecard site. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah. Do you have anything on uh, training for the smishing? Smishing. Smishing. Yes, absolutely. That's so, like major mm -hmm. I think post COVID, this code. absolutely. So, so the question is uh, anything on training for smishing, right? Uh, so, smishing and uh, smishing related attacks are very much on the rise. Smishing, dishing. So, we have training in our platform to help people understand what smishing is. But our focus is on threats, right? So, what we do is we show employees all the PII that hackers know about them. So within Hack Notice, we'll show employees, hey, hacker just shared your phone number. And then we'll draw for them the full sequence of events. We'll say, here's your phone number. You're going to be targeted for smishing. And then here's how you can protect yourself. Now, with smishing and general phishing, it's more about awareness. It's like, hey, you're going to be targeted. That You just need to be on guard. 
Uh, and, and then we provide videos along the way, training along the way. Great question. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot, Steve. It was a really interesting presentation. Appreciate uh, the, the, the time you took to, to do this.